Hi, this is Attorney Mike Grevin coming to you from Chicago as usual. And today we really do have a special treat. I first encountered this guy uh, on a live stream. I think it was Artie's Corporate Friction who, who brought that to the party. But it's Eddie Alexander Banks. It's fantastic. I've had uh, other requests for it in the comments. And today is the day. We're going to do a little something called Eddie Alexander Banks Sovereign Citizen. Let's do it. So here we go. It's a federal courthouse. How are we doing? Wonderful. I don't wish to board your vessel, but that uh, box right there, if you can drop some documents in there and just stamp one copy for my receipt, I would greatly appreciate it. This is fantastic. First of all, I don't wish to board your vessel. It was even the winner of my uh, new new T-shirt slogan competition. <laughs> By the way, I've, I've already made that. It's, it's in the merch link. Um, <laughs> And I don't know what the hairy stuff is going into the camera frame. <laughs> oh, it's so good. You can't put it in the box? No, you actually have you to. Do actually have to can, you whirl it, can you whirl it up so I can? It's got to be plugged in. It's got a timestamp machine on it that's it's plugged into the wall. It's got to stay plugged into the wall so it doesn't lose its time. You can go take your stuff back to the car and come in and do it yourself. I don't wish to. I don't wish to. Could you uh, summon me a marshal, please? <laughs> yeah, can you uh, see? You know, he just wants to file something apparently in that machine over there, but plugged into the wall and they're not going to wheel it over. And even if it wasn't, why should they wheel the machine over? Go over and file your own stuff. If you can get a marshal out to the lobby, uh, Banks is here and wants to talk to one. Okay. I don't know why they acquiesced to these commands. These guys called and asked for that just because this guy asked for it. Yeah, Banks is out front here. Right. By the way, I have no idea what the underlying action is. I don't know what he's trying to accomplish here. <laughs> I got another clip coming up, which is also fantastic. And I don't know if it's terminated. Sure, I don't know what he's exactly. trying to do with any of it. Take that off there because you're not supposed to be in here with that. I told you once before, you're not supposed to have it out here. It's not supposed to be visible. You're violating a federal court order. You want to identify yourself? First and last name. Bill Rippey. Bill Rippey? Yes, sir. Are you a marshal or a security? I'm a federal CSO. CSO. What is that? Security officer. Court security officer. Yes, sir. And if you'd like to step out here, I'll show you the uh, I'll show you the uh, paperwork on the, that's posted on the door. I've already come in with I've I've already dealt with that. Okay. So are you? In, okay. So you're just intentionally violating. I don't know specifically, and I've seen the rest of the clip. I'm I have a guess, but I don't know specifically what he's telling him to that that he can't have in there. We the people have the power, sir. Okay. Not the corporate con construct you're representing right now, sir. Yes, sir. I would like access if you could. It's ask and answer. You're not going to play one CSO against another. Are you a marshal? Ask and answer. I'm, I'm a CSO. Okay. Yes, sir. I'm simply here to demonstrate power and authority of we the people. I don't wish to harm you or disturb your. Operation. I understand. You kindly put your mask on because you're supposed to have that on when you come in here too, sir. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to have your temperature taken too. You're supposed to get your temperature you taken. Involved. Yes, sir. Can you assist me, please? With what? I don't wish to uh, board your vessel. I have some documents. I would like to drop them in a box. Oh, well, he tells everyone he doesn't wish to board their vessel. <laughs> Fantastic. Stamp one for my return 
and I'll be out of your hair. Okay. That's all I'm requesting. We don't stamp documents. For you. It's right there. I'm I'm asking you to process because I don't want to board your vessel because you have certain procedures and policies. It's understandable. So I'm I'm asking will you honor the request? No. No. Thank you. What I want to do, I'll go this road. When I come back, I would like your business card, first and last name. Write it down on write it down on a piece of paper and I would like your business card. Is that acceptable? I'm not gonna give you a business card because like you said Can you write down your first and last name? We'll see about that when you come back, all right? You'll see uh I just I thought it was so crazy they said I'm I'm about to go disrobe and you'll see why he says that. I mean it, it it's just it's just crazy as can be. See about that. I don't wish to attack And so when you do come back did you get your tips or tips? I'll be right back. Bullshit. Wait, I need, I need to back that up a little bit. I mean, take a look at that. <laughs> take a look at that situation. <laughs> the robe, the chain, I guess that's what he was telling me he had to take off to go in to file documents. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why he has it on. I don't know what he's trying to file. I don't understand anything, but it is hilarious. The bullshit. That we the people go through. Well, that was just crazy as could be. But uh, he then goes and tries to file some documents in a state office. And that's that's the next clip we have coming up. I'm guessing it's the same stuff, but I don't really know. I don't know. Now serving are 152 at window number 11. All right. Let's check out in federal court. Let's see how we do over here in the state office. Hello. 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 I would like to record these four documents. First of all, the silence is deafening, and for good reason, because you know those documents are just, just crazy. He's, he's added some stickers and seals and stuff, but you know it doesn't mean anything, number one. Number two, this really puts me in mind of my Bears Law series, uh, where, where they just went and annoyed clerks <laughs> repeatedly. I'll put a link to that in the description below. It's involving a federal case. Excuse me. Can you uh, leave the uh, documents because they're secure documents. They can't leave my site. <laughs> they're secure documents. They can't leave his site. I've never heard of such a thing in my life. <laughs> oh, but don't worry. She she gets him with the best bureaucratic move ever right here. You can you can leave them right there, but they need to stay within my site. Um, once the, they get recorded, they go on public record. I understand that, but I don't want I don't want uh, clerks to go convene, scrutinize, and make a legal determination on a federal case. I want that to be. Okay. Well, yes. Um, you can have a seat in the waiting room. Thank you. Yeah. Why don't you go stand in the corner? I need another number. Yeah, mm -hmm. And uh, m m make it for a supervisor, because the lady, 
refused to uh, record my document, so she wants to call the supervisor. So if you can get me a number for a supervisor. <laughs> Make him for a supervisor. <laughs> it's like the security guard up front, like. Huh? You're telling me that federal cases aren't permissible in uh, on the public record? No, she handed you a piece of paper that said your documents aren't recordable. <laughs> and I'm confident she's correct. Is that what you're telling me? Does it need the does it need the uh, court stamp? Does it need to have the stamp of the court on it for it to be filed? I don't know about a stamp, but probably it needs to be relevant to uh, the business that the office conducts. If it's the recorder's office, I think that's probably real estate transactions, and you're t you're giving her stuff from some nonsense federal lawsuit that you filed, which is <laughs> just doesn't need to be recorded there. That's it. That we give you every this, time you come in here. No, this is unacceptable. It's a uh, federal case. You're telling me I can't file documents in a federal case on a public record? No, this is unacceptable. Call somebody. Call somebody. Because we have a problem. <laughs> you can call a sheriff. You can call a trooper. I'll be happy to swear out a, a arrest warrant for you. It's not a problem. Get somebody here. Uh oh, she she's she's getting this close to capital felony treason right here. Get your get, I need to speak to your supervisor. Call a sheriff or a state trooper as well. Where can I help you with? I have a federal case and I'm trying to lodge some documents on the public record. In accordance to Title 28 USC 1739 and 1733. That's all I'm trying to do. We don't record federal documents in this office. No, no, no. You don't understand. It's a federal case. I'm oh, I think she understands completely. I think uh, I think the first clerk understood, and I think this one understands just fine, and they are handling this beautifully. Making the documents known for the public record. But we don't record those documents in our office. That's not true. It is true. She just gave you what. No, this is this is not law. It is. Pull your policy. No, pull your policy. I know what is allowed to be filed in the public record. I've been all over the country. I don't think you do. Country. That was written by our I, I don't care. Your attorney doesn't represent me. No, he represents yeah, no. us. I want to file my documents. Can you call someone in authority? Because I would like to make a citizen's arrest on you and you. Can you call the sheriff? Oh, well, there you have it. That goes on and on. I cut most of that. I did put links to both of those are on Eddie Alexander Banks' uh, YouTube channel. I put links to both of those in the description below the original source. Of course, we end it with an attempted citizen's arrest. Uh, the, the, there is more, but it gets way too long. He, he does spend some quality time on the phone <laughs> with the sheriff's department trying to talk them into a citizen's arrest, and they're, and they're having none of it. It's fabulous. Uh, something tells me this isn't going to be the end of Eddie Banks on this channel. Here at Log Talk, I share my years of education and litigation experience with you. Now I don't. What I do is I laugh at people who are doing silly things mostly. <laughs> I have a lot of fun with it. I hope you do too. And I can tell you that the boys really appreciate it.